Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a short tutorial on how to use MailChimp to send bulk emails. Before we start, I'd like to mention that there is a link to a free trial of MailChimp in the description below. So if you just scroll down to the description and click that link, it'll take you to a completely free trial of MailChimp for you to try out. With that said, let's get on with the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do um, to send a bulk email is if you haven't already, make sure you have a list of contacts to send that bulk email to. So if we just go to audience and then all contacts, that'll bring up this page where we can see all of our contacts. Um, but so far we've only got one. So we're gonna add contacts here and you can either add people individually or you can import a list of contacts you already have. So if you wanted to add individually, um, you've just got all these things that you would need to fill out, um, but that would take a bit long. So we're just going to add a list of contacts that I have already. So here I've added a CSV file, probably the most common file you'll have your lists in. Um, this is just a template file I found online for today. So if we can go to continue to organize, we can organize our contacts. So select their status. Are they subscribed? Are they unsubscribed? But for now, we'll just go um, to continue to tag and just keep going on. And then we are able to see here how it's all been organized. I'm just going to finalize that import now. Complete. And there we go. So now if we go back to view contacts, and we've also got an email saying um, that we've added the contacts as well. So now we can see we've got all these contacts here. So this is where we can now actually send our bulk email. So to do that, you're just going to go to campaigns. And if you haven't got one already, we're just going to create one. So create campaign and that'll bring up some options here. You can make a landing page, you can make an automation, but today we're just going to keep it simple and do a regular email. So we're going to hit design email. And we can either choose if we want to use the new builder in beta or classic. I'll just stick with classic for now. And then we're given um, all these templates to choose from. So we can either choose these layouts, which are quite um, basic, almost like you're starting from scratch. Or we can choose the themes, which might be a bit more helpful if you're trying to get some ideas for what you want your email to look like. And also if you just um, don't have a lot of skills in graphic design, then this is great. It'll make your email look so much more like professional and like it has so much more going on. So for today, I'm just going to pick this template here. So that's brought up this template for us now. So if you hover over it, you can see there's lots of elements we can interact with. So if we click here, um, that brings up here where we can um, change the size of the logo. We can also just replace it, click in here. And you would need to upload your own files for this part. There's other email marketing softwares that provide their own stock images, but MailChimp doesn't really do that. So for today, we're just going to go to GIFs because they do provide that at least. And we're going to add um, this GIF for today. Insert that. And now we've got this nice little GIF welcoming people to our email. And we can also just size that down a bit now, just so it's only a small thing. We can also very self-explanatory change text by double clicking on it. And then we can just change it in the side here. And we've got all these options to customize it like you would get in any word processing software. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that for now. So we're just going to go to continue and We'll click maybe later for that. So now we can customize a lot more of the details more. Before we were just doing the design, now we can actually get into the details. So first of all, we're going to give it a title. Um, I'm going to call it tutorial for today. Hit save. 
We can also customize who we're sending this to. So if we click add recipients, we can choose our audience. I'll just send it to Louise for now. We can also edit which email we want this to send from here. Um, and then if we go down, we can also add our subject. So we click add subject. So again, I'm just gonna call this tutorial and we're gonna hit save for that. And there's also a couple, um, um, a couple of other things you can customize. Um, so you can also add a social post to your campaign, a couple other things in terms of tracking. So if you had a link in your email, you could go into some of the settings here and maybe see how many people have clicked on that link. That's what um, the tracking involves. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that now. So we're just gonna go to send and send now. And there we go. That's sent to all of our contacts. Um, for now, we've just selected one. Um, but you can select as many as you like. Um, so that's how to use MailChimp to send bulk emails. Um, so that's the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like these. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments below. And before I end this video, I would like to mention that there's a link in the description below for a software that can rank your website instantly by using videos. This might be very interesting to anyone looking for more traffic and sales to their website. So make sure to check it out if that's something that you might need. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.